There's something toxic about nuclear in Australia, and that's the debate at the moment. Fears replace facts, rhetoric has replaced reality, The Simpsons has replaced science. We've got politicians posting images of three-eyed fish and fear-mongering about earthquakes. We've got an energy minister suggesting nuclear waste is dumped in yellow barrels on grassy fields, and a prime minister who has suggested communities would be, quote, under threat, living near a nuclear reactor. Our politicians are not treating this nuclear debate seriously at a time where the rest of the world is embracing it. 32 countries have nuclear power. 50 are looking to it for the first time. These include some of our closest partners, such as the United States, United Kingdom, Finland and France, and competitors such as China, which is building the most nuclear reactors in the world. As energy demand increases and climate targets grow nearer, the role of nuclear energy globally in delivering safe, clean, reliable energy is being recognised, sparking a new wave of investment. 31 countries have signed a triple nuclear power capacity globally by 2050, with the US recently at COP29 committing to 200 gigawatts of new nuclear by 2050. 14 of the world's largest banks and funds, including Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley and Barclays, have recently committed to supporting nuclear, and companies such as Microsoft, Amazon and Google have also announced major investments in nuclear to power their data centres. They recognise that, that nuclear must be part of a balanced energy mix. Yes, no country is 100% nuclear, but equally, no country is 100% solar and wind. Yet, in Australia, our archaic nuclear ban restricts us from even having the option. This is in the context of an energy, climate and cost of living crisis that will have huge impacts on generations like mine. I was 16 when I started Nuclear for Australia, committing to lifting the ban and thus reuniting Australia with the rest of the pragmatic world. We've since grown our movement to now have over 75,000 grassroots supporters from across Australia. We've reached millions of people through social media and grown an expert team, some of whom this committee has heard from, ensuring Australians can access their important expertise. More recently, we've held information evenings in communities across Australia, including Lithgow and Collie, and we'll be holding an event in Kingaroy tomorrow night. I've been blown away by the impact we've had and how this movement has grown so quickly to become the largest nuclear movement in Australia. And to be honest, I don't think we'd have the same success if there wasn't already huge support for nuclear energy in this country. As of today, I've graduated high school and have entered the real world. Our future currently looks bleak if we continue to go down this path. We must get serious about nuclear energy and immediately work to lift the ban. Thank you.